Yeah, um, really happy to, always happy to be a part of this, this tournament, um, this stage. It's great that you get to play teams from all over the country. Um, obviously, great teams with great players, and um, you know, I thought that Puckett and Bond for them really just willed their team, um, and that's huge. I mean, I know they've been here before. Um, great, two great players. When they're knocking down shots like that in the second half, they're really, really hard to stop. But um, very proud of, of the resume that we put together this year, uh, being the only only the second year that we've been in the NCAA tournament. Her best Switzer senior captain, 15 points and um, 11 rebounds. Everything she could do, she she was doing, and that's been true all year long. I'm proud of all of our senior captains. Um, this is something that you just learn from. You take it with you, solutions, as opposed to worrying about the problems, and we, we want to be back here again, and the younger kids want to learn from this situation. Uh, the mood in the locker room is, they understand the opportunity that was missed, but that they want to be back here again. And when the messages from our seniors are as mature as they are, it makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Beth, what did you learn from um, going through this a second time and meeting with tonight specifically? Um, I think we learned that, yes, the opportunity was missed for us, we feel like, but everything doesn't always go your way. It's always hard to fight back from being down. Sorry about my voice. Um, <laughs> and. Um, I think we learned that with hard work, you can get where you want to be. And I hope, like she said, the young kids take this next year and remember being here and take that again. Work hard, work hard, work hard, and you can get where you want to be. Not that it was the reason why or anything like that, but um, in a game like this, was it just more magnified that Megan Weber wasn't on the floor? Um, I think every game is definitely magnified that she's not there. Um, me being 5'8", and a, the 5 isn't always fun. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, it miss her being the size out there, but miss her voice as well. Um, being a senior and sitting there and watching us, I couldn't even imagine what she's going through. But um, every game we won without her was partly for her. We did it, we got here for her, just so that she could keep being there and being with us. Kelly, like, like, you know, obviously the, you know, start kind of in the second half of the BW game, but it just seemed like the offense just has really struggled over the last three halves of basketball. Is there any one thing, is it a combination of if I figured it out, <laughs> it wouldn't have happened. Coming, Still looking it. for an answer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's deflating when you miss shots. And then, I mean, really, the, the BW game, I think, made us really nervous. Um, I think it was like seeing a horror movie and then continuing to have the same nightmare and not knowing how to come out of it. Um, so you get even more gun shy when a couple don't go. And, and instead of being deflating, 20 minutes in, it's deflating right then. Uh, I think that comes with maturity. I think that comes with game experience, um, emotional management. You know, and we talked about this. We have a young team in general. Like, even my seniors, this is only their sophomore year with me, with our staff, with what we do and application. So, across the board, we're still learning each other's communication and what is right in certain scenarios and, and what is not. So. Um, I, I'm sure that I will spend the summer <laughs> trying to, to come film. up with those answers. But, you know, we were, there's no doubt we're definitely stagnant. And I will say um, when we're not getting stops defensively, then we can't get out in our transition game. And our transition game is where we get the numbers. So I, I, I'm always going to go back to the defensive side of the ball and say that's where the problem lies with offense. Is there any way you could summarize a career at this point? Or is it, um, uh, it was fun. I mean, it was a lot of fun. It built a lot of character for me as a person, as a student. Um, it helps me in so many ways besides, like, being in shape and playing basketball. Um, all my, I don't have many friends except the 12 out there. <laughs> so it gave me my she friends. <laughs> you know, I mean, the whole experience. It's not just the practices. It's after practices going home together, being together constantly. So. It hasn't hit me yet. Maybe Monday when I don't go to practice, I don't know if I'll be happy or sad. But um, it was an awesome time, especially two years with her. I wish I had two more. I don't know if my body does, but I do. So. And where do you, where do you feel that, you know, like this team has to go, Kelly? Like, what, what, what's the next, what, where, you know, getting over that, maybe that first, second out of hump, or, you know, getting, I mean, clearly you got the regular season figured out pretty well, you know, things like that. But, like, what, what, what do you think the team needs to maybe mode? 
I'm just continuing to learn the game the way that we are trying to play it. And um, we have really smart kids, obviously, they're at John Carroll. <laughs> but everybody's communication is different, like I've said. Um, terminology, just feeling out what we want and what we expect positionally from kids. I mean, like Shmoo being a point guard, being in, on a national stage in a tight game, first year with me and trying to navigate all of that. It's hard though, that is, if you go from a senior yeah. and then yeah. to a freshman. It's going to happen, but I think we really need to continue to grow as basketball minds um, because there's no doubt they work hard. There's no doubt that there, there's individual talent and there's cohesive talent, but we need to grow in the tough situations, the frustrating situations, when I don't have timeouts. Going from a timeout to application on the floor to like perfect execution. And that takes time and it takes a lot of work in the off season. Um, and, and these kids are willing to do that, so.